we need to put a stop to crack. It's damaging windshield lives. Check this out. Oh, you guys can see it. And it was here the other day and now it's here. So I'm gonna show you how to stop a crack from continuing across your entire windshield. Cause you know what's gonna end up in front of the driver. You know what it is, it just always does. Okay, there's only a few basic tools you need. One is a drill or a Dremel. A Dremel is preferred. I'm gonna use this cordless Milwaukee Dremel tool because it spins a little bit faster, but you can use a drill, like a regular just corded or cordless drill will work just fine. Um, Cause what we're gonna use is glass. Well, we're gonna use these little diamond, um, diamond drill bits, essentially. They're meant to go into a Dremel. They're eighth inch, but you can chuck them up into a drill. It's just, a Dremel just spins way faster than a drill. So this is gonna be a way faster method. And this is what they look like. Um, you can also use a glass drill bit. Uh, and I've done this plenty of times, but I'm not gonna show you this if you have these, but don't go out and buy these. Buy these, these are dirt cheap. These take a fair about more patience and practice of using. You can cause more damage by using one of these. They do work, but I, if you use these, these are virtually foolproof. I will put a link below where you can get these, they're dirt cheap, but let's go out and I'm gonna show you what to do. Here is the side of a windshield just to show you. And you have a layer of glass, a thin jelly layer in between and another layer of glass. That is a windshield. Generally, you only have one layer cracked. So it's the outside, generally it's the outside. Sometimes it's the inside. Sometimes it kind of passes through, but the cracks won't line up like all the way through. So what we're doing is we're drilling down and it's usually about an eighth of an inch thick down to the jelly layer and you'll fill it and then it'll just go through. So glass, jelly, glass. That's a laminated windshield on every single car. So that black line is just where it was about a week ago. I've marked it right now. You can see where it ends. I'm gonna start drilling my hole just right there, which is about eighth of an inch in front of where I see the crack ending. There, we're through. There it is, all the way through the top layer down to the gel. Uh, the bit actually started smoking just a little bit when it hit the gel, and you can feel it too. And then I just widened out the hole just a little bit, and you can be done there. But I'm actually going to feel that hole, and I actually have a whole video on how you can feel this entire crack and make this entire crack, you know, 75 to 80% less visible. But I'm just going to feel this hole for right now because this is over on the passenger side. You can't even see it. If it was in my field of vision, I'd probably play around with it more, but I'll put a link to that video, but I'm gonna feel it right now. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is stuff I use. It's like, I think 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon. You can do a bunch of cracks. It's not a one-time use thing. It has a little octopus um, injector to inject into bullseyes and stuff like that. And it has this fluid that sets up under UV light. So all we do is take that, you put some in, they give you a bunch of these clear papers. You put that over and it sets up in like 60 seconds or something. And then you just take a razor blade and scrape off the excess. The whole thing takes about five minutes. Now, if the crack extends past your, um, past where you drilled, it, after you look at it, you push too hard. So just go in front of it again. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times because that crack is just so sensitive. You know, maybe use a ball bit or a little bit of a wider bit and just take your time kind of come in on the side as far as rpm on the dremel i'm only doing it about half um the rated so i'm probably running at about uh, 15 to 20 thousand rpm drill is going to run much slower so on a drill you're going to do it on full full speed to you know unless you want to sit there all day long but that's it watch the other video if you want to see how to repair the crack so you don't see it at all jump Jump. Jump. Oh, good job. Jump. Four feet. Jump. Four feet. 